Today I show the Arctic Cooler M2 Pro for NVMe drives. I have the crucial T500 Pro, one terabyte here, and I will install this cooler into the crucial SSD. So this this was really cheap M2 SSD. The size should be 20. 2280 or 2280 that's the cooler size it's uh, made in i think it's uh, arctic from germany but i guess it's made in china and also in hong kong that's the product codes online manual that's nice to have this a qr code to get to install this so I'm going to take it out from, from the box. Okay, first I'll show you. I tried this. I did some tests. I did a few speed tests with the Crucial T500 NVMe without the cooler. And I wanted to try it with the cooler. I bought the cooler from before. But I only installed it in the computer and did the test, the speed test, and it was slowing down pretty much when it was getting around 80 degrees is the place where it starts to reduce the speed quite dramatically, around 400 mega per second or 600 like this. Usually it's 2, 2, 2 giga per second transfer speed, 2.2, so still it's not the full speed. The full speed is actually 7 point something. I have a separate video with all that. If you want to see it, I'll do tests with this cooler also, and we'll see which one is better. In this video, I show you just the installation and in the computer to make sure that you see what I'm doing. Maybe I do it wrong, but hopefully not. Hopefully I do everything right. So first I open it wrong here. Should be the, the face should face up. Just be careful with this. NVMe drives, they're really so tiny and so small. <laughs> Especially there is a version with the heatsink for this. And I wanted to buy the version with the heatsink, but uh, by the time I decided to buy it, it was already sold out, not available on Amazon. So I got this one plus a heatsink separate. So I can still buy this one. I had the option for Kingston V3 and uh, Crucial P3 Pro, but I preferred to get this. This was, uh, it had better specifications. So, okay, I'll put it aside for now. Let's see what's with the cooler here. Okay. Oh, it's really solid. So it's really, okay, nothing else there. It looks like a matchbox. It's really feels really solid. With the with the coolers for NVMe, it's actually important to have the thermal thermal capacity, meaning that the more material it is, the the better it will be. Because usually NVMe drives they have bursts of really fast rides and heat generated really fast and then it's uh, sitting not doing much so it's sliding this is like a tray sliding there's a branding there arctic i don't know some people were saying it's not good but it was so cheap and uh, don't know. this is aluminium here all metal aluminium so this is the top, there is some kind of a, this is a protective film. This is a protective film and it has to be removed from both. This will go under, under the NVMe and then that, that one, this one will go on top. So it's cooling from both sides. And this is pretty solid, it has pretty good weight to it. So I think there should be some specifications of the, the weight, I think it's at least 50 grams. Don't know, it doesn't say, but feels good. Yes, and this is just a piece of cardboard. <laughs> I think that's the NVMe there. And I like how it's made this one. It's this uh, nice finish on it. 
and once you remove this blue sticker from here don't touch it because it's going to interfere with the heat transfer and it's a long story before i removed the labels from an nvme drive that was out of warranty but for this one i will not remove it even though the on the top label doesn't say warranty void if removed and you can see how it's, i tried to check it from the corner here a little bit to see what kind of some people say that these labels are made of metal like copper this feels like just simple plastic plain plastic but it could be that this plastic is uh, thermal conductive so not not too bad as you notice whenever i handle the ssd the nvme i always hold it from the edges i don't touch this area here or any parts there because there could be static electricity discharged and i touch i did touch now the computer case just to make sure that there is a strange ice cream truck going around the corner okay okay so the ice cream truck is gone that's great so this is the label of the nvme drive i only installed it in the computer once and did a few tests only for you actually so you see the speed that it's running at and that's gonna be all in a separate video and what i want to see now is the size the size of these pads so both of them yeah i think this one also has on this side not sure okay so if i put it like that yeah it's small enough not too big so there is space here for the screw and then there is space on the other side for the other stuff Oh, there's some like residue here or some grease or something, I don't know. Maybe it was from the thermal pad. So the length of this thermal pad is exactly how much this one is. Okay. So the don't see any orientation for it so it doesn't really matter which way it goes but i guess you would care if you want to see the logo in some specific way but i don't care about the logo how it sits all i want to see here is if this part has a removable piece it should have it should have some because it doesn't feel like Okay. Okay, so this part is removed from here and I will put it inside the case there. Yeah, I think you got it. Something like this, I guess. So it's sticking on one side. Doesn't have to be precise, really. And this is the underside of the NVMe. It's clean, I don't have to clean it, but if your the one you're using is not super clean, maybe wipe it with a bit of alcohol, but not isopropyl alcohol, so you don't remove these markings. Remove the blue label. Okay. Uh, 
and now I throw it in there. I will try to align it so it's exactly. I will try to align it so it's exactly in the middle, so it's not too far out on either side, like this. It's a little bit bigger than the label. Okay, I think it's coming out pretty good. So there is space for the screw and there is space for this, for the M.2 interface and it won't touch, it won't touch the interface. So that's, that's pretty important. It's not shorting any of these contacts here. So this is really important and it's not also not shorting not touching even because there is the pad between the NVMe and this cooler. So now the next step would be just to throw it in there. Like that. Something like that, but I don't understand. It's just gonna be glued to it, I guess that's interesting. Okay, so I remove it now. And it's time to... Time to install it. I think you just snap it in place. Ah, okay. I understand. So all aligned here and here. Snapped, ready to go in. Click. And it's done. Now it's a... Uh, there might be a clearance problem and I hope I don't have to remove this because it looks like it's gonna be difficult to remove. But otherwise, clicked in place, not going anywhere. It's really, feels really locked in. So I will install it in the computer now and see how, how it fits. The SSD now is installed in the case. It was pretty easy to install it. I think I put it really pretty much in the center as much as I could, but it really snapped in place. It's covering both the underside of the SSD and the top, and it feels really heavy. And that's the, that's the Arctic M2 Pro. And actually this one, the Seagate looks very similar. Let's see now. Yep. It looks really good. The no storage, no perfect. It looks really good. There is no clearance problem. So that's pretty good so far. We'll see about cooling. It's gonna be better, anything will be better than without it. The NVMe is installed back with the RT cooler, so it looks really good. I'm really happy how it looks like. I didn't see, I'm really happy how it looks like. I didn't see any problem with clearance. Time to throw the graphics card back in and hope there is no problem for clearance. So the graphics card goes on the right side there. Perfect, no problem.
I don't forget this part. Okay, time to start it. See how it goes. Sounds okay, starting all good, no shorts. Most important is to have the white light. White light where is the GPU connector, so that means it's all good. One NVMe drive is there, the system NVMe drive is there, and the second one, the T500 is under the GPU. But it did fit, so seems okay. Let's. I will do a few tests on the computer to check the temperature and the speed of the Crucial T500 Pro compared to the Fire CUDA there. The most important test here for me is the Crucial T500 without the heatsink, temperature checks and the speed test and with the heatsink to see how much of a difference there is. I'm sure there is a difference, but I didn't remove any stickers. This is just the simplest way. It's very easy to do and the thing is really cheap. Thanks for watching. This is much better to buy the NVMe with the heatsink, but if you can't find it with the heatsink, you could try to do it like this. Thanks for watching and watch the next video.